My name is Pete Eyes Walliger. Um, I'm an internationally known stencil artist. Um, I am known for my signature eye. Um, I put it out on the streets to wake up the world. The reason I'm doing Eyes on Trains, um, about a year and a half ago, a scrapper was following me on Instagram and he said, Pete, would you like to come to my scrap yard? I'm scrapping full-size locomotives. And to a graffiti artist, to paint a um, full-size locomotive is everyone's dream. So I, of course, and it spawned this entire series of going to the scrap yard week after week after week after week and painting trains and then essentially picking them and using them as my canvas for my exhibition. Most of these trains are being scrapped, they're being melted down, they've traveled millions of miles across America and ultimately are worth more as scrap metal than as a train on the tracks. Um, and part of me doing the show is to save those trains and to also kind of be the, the mortician, you know, the mortician to the trains before they die, to really just give them a face, an identity, um, just to kind of, you know, give them their final farewell and uh, in a way I kind of feel like I'm saving their lives in some sense because I'm reclaiming a lot of the parts off of these. The show is going to be at Hoffman Lachance Gallery in Maplewood. Um, it's Like I said, it's been a year and a half in the making. It's been just a lot of just figuring out how to get from A to Z. I mean, we moved a train into the gallery and, you know, I don't know what it takes to get that, but luckily I have a good friend by the name of Eddie Bauer who knows how to do that. He went and picked up a train from the scrapyard, brought it to my studio, and then really brought that train from my studio into the gallery, which uh, was quite an undertaking. So about six months ago, I was asked to do a massive mural in Indianapolis. The only stipulation is like we want a, a mural with positive messages. So I get to this wall and I'm looking at it and it's this really, it's really wide and short and there's 40 of them all separated. And I'm like, man, those sure look like boxcars. Each logo on the train, which I've carried over now to my show, has positive messages. Like instead of the Frisco logo, it says forgive. And it's the biggest mural now in Indianapolis. But if you want to see that, uh, the hashtag is the uh, Monon Love Train. These trains have traveled millions of miles and it's one of the most iconic images that we see. They're in everyone's life and they're kind of dying, you know, in a way. And I want people to realize that this isn't just a piece of art. This is something that's traveled across America that now has been reclaimed and hopefully will sit in someone's house for the next, and maybe a museum for the next 300 years. You never know. I mean, to see this train go into this door, it was almost like that weight that I've had on me for the past year and a half, knowing that, oh my gosh, eventually I gotta get a train in the door and 
we did it. It was one of the best feelings of my life. It's finally like, you have the idea, here it is, and you know, now it's in there. So, you know, I'm doing this train show and the first thing you think of when, tr when you think of trains are the mini trains. So this has been another part of the whole aspect. I mean, I've always been into trains. I've painted a few trains in the past in my life, um, but I never really got into the model world. And one thing I wanted to kind of show is a miniature version of this scrapyard. So I've been going to all these train shows, been meeting all the foamers, which by the way is a name for the people who foam when they see these big trains and freak out, but that's the name. But I mean, there could be a whole documentary just filmed on these folks who are diehard trainers. And it's mostly not the non-graffiti stuff, they like it clean. So I'm hoping somehow I can break into that world, you know, like be the next Thomas the Train, but for 2015, you know. So the key people for this show have really just been kind of the drive and the motivation for it are about five people, uh, one being Nick Pistone, who owns the scrapyard. My homegirl Irene, she has been completely all a part of this from the beginning. I think she, she was even like friends with this guy on Instagram and was like, we need to go out there and was really kind of the drive to getting this whole train things going. And she's a bencher, she hangs out and makes a train. So she's really kind of helped me. The third being Eddie Bauer, who I've known my entire life. This is the guy who moved the train from here to here to here. And then I have an assistant by the name of Cam, uh, just a neighborhood cat who's been there a lot, and then Will Rimmel, who's a very great artist and, and you know, has been helping me get from A to B, you know, so, or A to Z. Trains are the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. I mean, they are, you know, we got a super train coming up next. I mean, it's the next generation of trains happening. I mean, the trains especially that I'm covering are the ones that I saw growing up. I didn't see the steam engines, and that's what you see the train shows, you know? And I like the, the old, rusty, big Union Pacific orange train. So it's been, a, it's been an amazing opportunity. Um, I don't think I'd ever have something like this fall in my lap again. You never know, but it's just like one of these scenarios that like, all right, I gotta see this through, and I'm about that close, so. So after St. Louis, I'd love to travel this, technically on a train, to different cities, to Miami, New York. I have a couple galleries that I've been talking to, nothing's set in stone, so if you know anybody who wants to take a train to their city, this uh, could be a pretty impressive show. But yeah, I wanna travel this, let the world see a little bit of St. Louis and a little bit of our history. Um, they take these trains back to the cities they've already traveled to, and. You know, it could be pretty awesome. Hold on, let me do one more. Eyes on trains, yo. Peace.